Hello, I'm George McCraney, DUI and criminal defense attorney and serious injury attorney with offices in Douglas and Valdosta, Georgia. Today I wanted to talk with you about a misdemeanor in Georgia that can affect you for the rest of your life. And the big thing about this misdemeanor is, is they've, uh, the state has changed. Used to, if you were convicted of this misdemeanor, they would suspend your driver's license. But now they've changed that and your driver's license will not be suspended. Now, if anybody knows what this is or, or can guess, it's actually misdemeanor possession of marijuana. Now, if you've been charged with that crime, used to, and you were convicted, used to, the state would suspend your driver's license, but now the state doesn't suspend your driver's license if you're convicted of that charge. And the reason I wanted to talk about it today is because I was recently in court and uh, there was a couple of young guys there and their parents were with them. And the parents asked me a question and I responded to their question and, and tried to help them and answer their question. And I asked what they were there for and they told me that their, their sons had been charged with misdemeanor marijuana, but it wasn't a big deal uh, because you know they were just in school and the main thing was they wanted to make sure their license wasn't suspended. And I told them, well, you know, Georgia no longer suspends a driver's license if you've been convicted of misdemeanor marijuana possession. However, what the parents didn't know, I said, now, you know, who's your attorney? Because your attorney can answer these questions for you. And they said, well, we don't have an attorney. We didn't think it was that big of a deal. Well, I said, let me tell you, you know, I'm a parent. I've got a 25, six-year-old daughter, <laughs> getting too old. She's getting too old. And I've got a 10-year-old daughter. And I said, now, as a parent, you need to know some things about this. Now, it's true that Georgia won't suspend your driver's license if they're convicted of these charges, these two young men. But... What will happen is if they're convicted, that conviction will remain on their Georgia criminal history for the rest of their life. Georgia has some of the strictest laws when it comes to convictions for criminal charges and them remaining on your criminal history. A lot of people think that, well, you know, I'm convicted of it, but that was years ago. You know, it's no big deal. It's like a speeding ticket. It'll drop off my, my criminal history. It doesn't in Georgia. Speeding tickets do, criminal convictions don't, okay? Now, here's what happens. Not only are you, you know, luckily you don't lose your driver's license, but you're facing up to 12 months in jail on this charge or 12 months probation, a $1,000 fine up to 1000 plus court cost plus the fees associated with court. Now, if let's say they got 12 months probation. Well, that 12 months probation comes probation fees that are about, comes close to $500 a year, so you got to tack on another 500. Well, also, there's random drug screens. And if you fail a random drug screen, the judge can send you to jail for the remainder of the time that you have left on probation. So it, it's pretty serious business. Now, you know, these guys, you know, they were talking, their parents were there talking, and, uh, they, you know, they were sort of acting like it wasn't a big deal. You know, it's just just a year, you know, and a $1,000, $1,500, you know, $2,000 fine. You know, it's not that big a deal. I said, well, I understand, you know, at y'all's age, I think they were like 19 and 20 is how old they were. I said, you know, at y'all's age, I can understand that you're worried about driver's licenses, that kind of thing. But, you know, y'all are in college and it is a big deal, you know, if you're going to college or you plan on getting a, a good job later on. And now here's, here's what happens, and we've seen this happen before with people that had, had issues with this. It can affect you down the road because it's going to be on your criminal history. Let's say you want to join the military or go in the military. It can affect you, and you really can. A conviction for this charge, misdemeanor marijuana possession, can keep you out of the military. Uh, it can affect your college entrance, just getting into college if you've got this conviction. Professional schools, especially nursing and teaching, okay, those two, are, you know, those two professions can cause it can cause really, really big problems. Uh, even college work study. Let's say you're in college and you're planning on getting a work study program. We had this happen one time, where a young man was had a great, I mean, a fabulous work study program with one of the top 500 companies in the world, and it was about to cause him a serious issue, and we were able to help him with it. Now, it can also affect student uh, school grants and loans, all right? So it, it's, a, it's a big deal down the road. It might not have been to those 19 and 20-year-old guys, but down the road, when they're 25, 35, 
55 years old and they're trying to you know get a job or go in the military or get a promotion and they see this on your record you've got problems and it's pretty serious now here's my advice if you've been charged with misdemeanor possession of marijuana don't try to represent yourself like like these boys were there without attorneys I talked to their parents, you know, and they said that they, you know, would get an attorney. As a matter of fact, they came to us and, and we were able to help them. But the thing about it is, is don't try to do this yourself. When you go to court, you're facing trained government prosecutors, okay? They know their job, they know what they're doing, and they're there to get a conviction. They're not there to help you. They're there to get a conviction. They represent the state, not the defendant, okay? You need your own attorney. Get an attorney that's experienced and knowledgeable about criminal defense and has practiced for years and regularly practices in that court. That's very important because the attorney will have developed a relationship not only with the prosecutors there because they'll know that he knows what he's doing or she knows what they're doing, but they'll also know the judge. The judge will know that that attorney you know, is to be respected and knows what's happening, knows the law about this and does a good job. So get an attorney to represent you if you're charged with this crime because like I say, especially if you're young, you don't think there's anything to it, but really there is. It can come back and just, I mean, haunt you. Really it can, okay? Now, I'm George McCraney, DUI criminal defense and serious personal injury attorney with offices in Douglas and Valdosta, Georgia. If you've got a question about this, if you're a parent, grandparent, or you've been charged with a crime, you got a question, give us a call. You can reach us at 833-927-6227. We'll be glad to help you get the answers that you need you need to be educated about this, and that's why I do these videos. I try to educate people about it. If you've got a question about the Georgia criminal system or what's going to happen next or what do I need to do, feel free to request my book, The Truth About Your Georgia Criminal Case. I'll be glad to send it to you as long as we got copies reserved with the, with the uh, publisher. I'll send it to you absolutely free. It won't cost you a dime. I want you to get this information. I don't want you to go to court and you know with blinders on where you don't know what's coming, you don't know what to expect. The book has great information in it. It will really help you, but it doesn't replace having an attorney, okay? So, you know, if you've been charged with a crime, get an attorney. You're really gonna need one. It can really affect you down the road, especially here in Georgia, all right? I'm George McCraney, DUI, criminal defense, and serious personal injury attorney with offices in Douglas and Valdosta, Georgia. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. You can reach us at 833-927-6227, or you can go online to McCraneyLawFirm.com and request a copy of my book. we got great videos on there, educational videos that'll really help you. If you got any other issues, feel free to give us a call.